let us see the RLC circuit problem on AC circuits a series RL circuit has R equal to 25 ohm XL equal to 32 ohm inductive reactance directly the given if L is given we have to calculate XL it is connected in parallel to a capacitor of 100 microfarad and the combination is connected across 230 volts 200 volts supply 50 Hz find the current in each branch draw the vector diagram showing the total current this is the diagram given 25 ohm is connected in series with an inductive reactance of 32 ohm and it is this combination is connected 100 volts 200 volts 50 h 100 microfarad is connected to this combination r equal to 25 ohm first we have to write the given data r equal to 25 ohm and inductive reactance xl is 2 pi fl that is directly given 32 ohm if l is given we have to calculate xl and it is connected in parallel to capacitor of 100 microfarad according to that directly capacitor is given we have to calculate xc xc equal to 1 by 2 pi fc xc equal to 1 by 2 pi fc we have to calculate that is 31.830 ohm xc equal to therefore z equivalent we have to calculate z equivalent for this is r plus j xl whereas for this r is equal to 0 minus j 31.83 that is xc already we calculated as xc is 31.83 Z equivalent 1 R plus J XL 25 plus J 32 whereas Z equivalent 2 only capacitor is there in one branch that is minus J G minus J R is 0 0 minus J 31 hence we can write directly J 31 this capacitor capacitor reactance minus J 31 minus J 31 we can write therefore Z equivalent Z equivalent 1 and Z equivalent 2 are parallel Therefore, parallel impedance is similar to resistance R equivalent equal to R1 by R, R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. Similarly, we can calculate ZT equal to Z equivalent 1 into Z equivalent 2 by Z equivalent 1 plus Z equivalent 2. These are the Z equivalents of different branches. Substituting this, here we have to substitute polar form. Here we have to substitute polar form of those. We have to convert into polar form. After that, we can do multiplication and this addition can be carried out by using rectangular form only therefore z equivalent we calculated 51.69 at an angle minus 38.4 degrees if you do multiplication of these two in polar form and addition this you will get the answer 51.69 this angle is called as phase angle the impedance angle if you take the impedance triangle you can take this impedance triangle it is z and it is phi this angle is called as phi impedance what is the angle phi it is the phi it equal to v by z t total voltage by total impedance 200 at an angle 0 impedance is 51.69 at an angle minus 38.4 there it is 3.87 38.04 total current total current you calculated in polar form and rectangular form this is the unit ampere now i1 current in each branch we have to calculate now this is the i1 this is i2 the current in capacitor is i2 whereas current flowing in resistor and inductor is i1 this i1 is v v by z1 because voltage is in parallel voltage is constant or we can use current division rule total current into opposite resistor opposite impedance by total impedance we can use current current division rule or when these are in parallel we can use i1 equal to v1 by z1 that is 200 by z1 is 51.69 i1 is v1 by z1 200 by 25 plus j32 division should be in polar form it has to convert into polar form it has to be converted into polar form after that we can find i1 is 4.924 at an angle minus 52 ampere or it is a rectangular form i similar i2 equal to v by z2 we can use current division rule also this is the method of doing solving the problem find the current in each branch and draw the piezo diagram for the total current if you draw the piezo diagram for total current so we taken v as a reference voltage as a reference 
now current throw resistor inductor lags at an angle 52 you can see this angle 52 impedance angle impedance angle what we got impedance impedance angle is this one 38.4 z1 impedance if you convert this into polar form you will get one angle that angle is minus 52 similarly the current throw capacitor leads the voltage by 90 degrees it is i2 if you join the resultant of this i1 and i2 is i at an angle 38.4 this it if you calculate this zt zt angle in polar form is 38.4 that is the angle here you can see here that is the angle here 38.4 total impedance or z equivalent we calculated 38.4 this one is 38.4 the resultant of how to remember pressure diagram voltage taken as a reference now current throw inductor lags at an angle minus 52 current throw capacitor leads the voltage by 90 degrees that is the basics when current throw flowing current flowing through capacitor leads voltage by 90 degrees current flowing through inductor lag 90 degrees but if it is a pure inductor it lags 90 degrees but it is not a pure inductor we have some resistance also 25 ohm hence it is 52 if it is a pure inductor it leads current lags the voltage by 90 degrees you can see here if it is a pure inductor current i1 lags by 90 degrees because of resistance 25 ohm the impedance we got angle 52 degrees this is the phase angle of voltage and current when current flowing through inductor when current flowing through inductor it is not a pure inductor pure inductor has 90 degrees okay what are the formulas we used here x e equal to 1 by 2 pi fc xl equal to 2 pi fl z equal to r plus jxl minus xc z1 and z2 we can calculate for these two z1 is r plus jxl minus xc r is 25 plus 32 z1 equal to 25 plus j32 similarly total impedance is similar to that this is the formula 2 we used after that total current current equal to i by v by z z total is current through branch 1 is v1 by z1 whereas i2 current through another branch is v2 by z2 